All right, folks, welcome back. Round two, Slater for four, Kevin Rivers Jr. against Jason Worry. And again, good first round. Hey, take Rivers that one, baby. Take the trunks and the red stripes. And Worry, no, the black trunks and the white stripes. And again, he comes out right away. Gary does Worry. Doesn't set his feet a little off his mind. Double the Double the jack, Kevin. Double the jack. Double the Double the jack. Kevin Rivers, some interesting looks tonight because he won't be the quintessential fighter that you normally see. Good combination going downstairs and back upstairs does Rivers. Right there. Cover, free sharing sand. Six of pounds. Rivers did land a low blow there. How about the first round? What's the really don't have a feeling out process in four rounds, Monty. So if you can steal a round, you steal. But I think Rivers' game plan going Goodbye. in Goodbye. was to be aggressive. What's yeah, that? Definitely. You know, I say it in boxing terms. All our advantages are in our disadvantages. Right? So, you know, you learn yourself in the ring. You question yourself the most, and you start to question yourself and see whether you could do it. So, right now, we're just looking at Rory, seeing if he believes that he can win this fight. Because he has to do some things. Yeah, he probably oh, nice he left. Out. Yeah, excuse me, Monty. Excellent left, and he really tagged him. You know, you look at Rivers. Where Gary, you alluded to his boxing Where pedigree. What an amateur record. 150 and 15. He's 6-0 oh, as a pro. Where's you also mentioned that his Drop father used to Drop train with go. Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, this kid won the National POW, Ringside World Championships, Junior oh, Gold Gloves, Outstanding Boxer of Gold oh. Gloves. So, I mean, my goodness, you talk about discipline in the ring and another What's good it? combination with a left and then What's that lead right. This kid really has it all. One of those up-and-comers we talked about. Really exciting box to the watch always has been even as What's an amateur man, and the fact that in 2009 he was named the outstanding amateur in the area so in the dc area so this, this guy really knows what he's doing in there rory misses again with turn an right. uppercut turn around, turn. Back on the jab, Kevin. they'll Back get breaking up by sands right now he has a Look. lot of pause for, side uh, side 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 right a lot of pause. Look. round two scheduled for four okay, watch those heads in there okay. and yeah, I, yeah, sometimes you see that too you see that i mean I think Monty alluded to it earlier. A little over aggressive, but with young fighters, there's a tendency to try. Even with different styles and orthodox stances, there's a there's a you're more pension to butt heads. Yeah, butt heads. Get tangled with the feet. Get cuts. Yeah. Yep. Another lead left by Rivers. Step in front. Step in front. They meet in the center of the ring. Rivers again with that lead left. Go. Oh, there good go. combination. And Rory actually connected with a right. Work right there. Work right. Go back. If you notice, Jesse, all the punches back. that Rory are landing are very awkward. Oakland, Oakland yeah. throw. Drop down, Kevin. And that's, that's Drop his, down what? That's his advantage, but it's also becoming his disadvantage because he's leaving him open for big shots. Yeah, and can. I don't think he wants to keep Kevin Come Rivers on, in the up, center Kevin. of the ring. No, he's, he's got to put him up against the rest of some point. Kevin, get the bottom. A little bit. Good. All right. There you go. Good left. Good body shot again by Rivers. No, Under 10 no, to close right out no. the round. Put him off, Kevin. Rivers has Rory up against the ropes. Another combination, body shot, left and a right. Rory in trouble, see if he can stay on his feet and get out of round two, and he does. Much needed breather. You want to see that flurry? Let's actually now take a listen in to Rory's corner, what they're telling him. You want to step with you, see what I'm saying? All right. You step with your foot, you got to step with your goddamn foot. It's right there. It's right there. They're telling him, look, be a little more disciplined. And that's, you know, we didn't see that in this round. And you saw that Rivers taking advantage of it. Great combinations, good body shot, gets him up against the ropes, finishes with a flurry. It's so important for a young fighter when they smell that blood in the water to try to finish off their opponent, regardless, Gary, of the record that they come in with. No question about that. But inside the red corner, referee Sharon Chan's hands went over to uh, Rivers trainer Lamont Rose Sr. and uh, warned him about the low blow. So that's something that. Uh, Fans is going to be looking out for for the rest of this bout. Round three scheduled for four. You start to see Monty a little bit of swelling on that right eye. They had to compress it with ice a little bit on Rory. But if you notice, you notice um, when Rivers picked up, if he, he see that Rory's breathing out his mouth right now. So when you see a fighter doing that, you taught to just go to his body, bang him in the body. And he's throwing great body shots. Yeah, and he's got him up against the ropes. And this is a place that Rory does not want to become familiar with in round number three. Good body shot again from Rivers. Good raw. Oh, that's you know what? Those are almost that right. Yeah, absolutely. Kidney shot. And you know what, Gary? You, you you rarely see those knockdowns, but they have another straight right. Misses with that cross. He's got Rory in trouble. Does Rivers pounding away? Going to the body. Rory comes back with a nice combination, and he lands a left again. So again, give the kid credit. He's fighting his way back in the center of the ring. He's, he's tough. No question about it. He's a survivor, and he knows how to stay in there and. Uh, keep the action going that's Jason Ward I think though you just saw it right there guys Monty alluded to it perfectly very wild with those punches Rivers misses with that overhand right comes back snaps that left snaps another left jabs if you notice for Rory that's why I said 
his advantages are hitting his disadvantages. It's a disadvantage when he's throwing wide punches, but when they when they land, it's to his advantage. And Gary, good eyes by you because I think Rivers got away with a little bit of a low blow as he's got Rory up against the ropes again in the corner. Rory dancing and prancing. Rivers again with the combination misses with a left, comes back with another left down the body, still working downstairs. Good combination, really scoring now in round number three, scheduled for four. He's the patience of Kevin Rivers. He's not rushing his shots. But he's giving Roy opportunities to come back. And Sands again, veteran in the ring, breaks him apart. Rory says, come on, I got more. I can take it. Here comes Rivers, a left and a right. Oh, he tagged him right there, right across the head on that quick left. That's something you don't rarely see from, uh, you rarely see from Kevin Rivers a little shuffle. Well, you know what? I'll let a former heavyweight champ to my right talk about the dancing in the ring. I know you have your thoughts about that. No, it's all good. It's, you know, it's showmanship as well, you know? Listen, if you can do it, do it. And uh, he, he seemed to be getting away with it. Uh, as, as it, seems, it seems like Rory is really, really ready to give up. He's on the back, he's on the, uh, have his back towards the rope, and he's inviting him in, and that, and that shows weakness. That shows, like, I'm ready to give up. He's ready to sneak. He's not going to catch him on a one shot. No, it's not going to happen. Uh, Rivers is not going down Rivers with one too, shot. No. Rivers is too sharp and too experienced. So, Ma, do you think he has no chance at this point by his actions? No. I think sometimes, too, you kind of look at a fighter and you know if they're defeated or not. I mean, look, I've, I, I've, I've, I've covered bouts and see some bouts in ringside where you just kind of look across the center of the ring and you look in somebody's eyes. So, three in the book, scheduled for four. Again, we'll take a listen in to this, Jason this Rory's corner as they check that eye. You want to bang with him? You ain't got to bang with him, Greg. You ain't got to bang with the the last time you step back, let's go, let it go over the top. This is it. And I think, you know what? I think Rory's corner probably gave him the best advice. You know, you got to come out and you got to swing. It's the last round. You're going to take some shots. You're going to take some chances. Again, the final round between Rivers and uh, Rivers Jr. and Jason Rory as they touch him up. I have Rivers well ahead, really winning all three rounds as far as we enter round number four. If you're Rory Monty, last round, you got to throw it out the window. What's your game plan? Well, I don't think Rory has a game plan to start with. So basically, I would say that he just got to go out there and punch him. And um, when you don't have a game plan, you know, it's, it's uh, a plan, a plan, a no game plan is a plan that fell to me. And I feel like he's just surviving and he's doing what he do best. He's an opponent. And again, fourth and final round, featherweight division, Kevin Rivers Jr. in the black trunks with the red trim. And of course, Jason Rory fighting out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, six and 16 record, but trying to be game this evening. Black trunks, white trim as well as we are just getting started in a great night of action right here on GoFightLive, GoFightLive.com, all in entertainment champion class. And boy, we are gonna get a look at some up and coming rising stars, culminating with the main event, Dusty Hernandez Harrison against the gritty tough veteran, Eddie Soto. Another warning for shit from Sharon Sands. It's time for the kidney punches for Kevin Rivers. But this is a good test for Rivers. I think that he needs this. He needs these rounds. He needs this to spring, especially with a KG uh, guy who uh, like like Rory. And he'll learn from his next fight what to do and what not to do. And, and I think that's an excellent point. I think you take every fight, whether it's a four rounder or a six rounder, and you win the fight hands down. That's all well and good. But you always want to take something away into your next fight. Exactly. Well, Rivers trying to put on a show to close it out right here. A lot of the boxers here in the, in the D.C. metropolitan area get criticized for the Good lack night. of opponents, strong opponents they have early on, but this is, you can't criticize this. Yeah, and good combinations too, and you know what? Oh, what a right across! Rivers tagged Rory, Rory comes back. Uh, Gary, I think you've been dead on all night. The one thing, if I'm Rivers, is that discipline to not go below the belt. And I get it. It's hard. Yeah. You know, Monty, I think you under, you know, you know this. You can talk more. When you're, when you're throwing those punches, sometimes it's hard to be disciplined. And at times, your opponent might crouch down and you might hit him. Yeah, that's true. You know, I was going to say, I was going to go back to what you said about, um, earlier about taking uh, the experience from one fight to the next. When I fought, I fought Greg Page in 98. I learned so much from that fight. That fight made me a better fighter because he taught me so much and uh, he was very cagey. And uh, you take a lot of stuff and you, and you put it to your own, your own uh, wisdom and your own knowledge and understanding and you build on it. And I think this is what he's going to do for the next fight, Rivers. I, I would guess anytime you fight a former world champion, 
it's going to help you, no question about exactly. that. Exactly. Closing seconds of the fourth and final round. Rivers Jr. looking good from Landover, Maryland, 6-0. We'll see if he improves to 7-0. Rory smiling politely. Hey, I made the trip from North Carolina. You know what? Let's finish it out, Keith. So Kevin Rivers Jr., 6-0 out of Landover, Maryland, and Jason Rory, 6-16. Six Fought a very game bout. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back with the decision right after this.